Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Beam NG Drive and we're here in Ibushu Covert. Ibushi? Ibushu? 1.5, what the hell is it? 1.5, just a married car car. Uh, 1.5 DX manual. Let's go. We go. Apparently, this is disc brakes all around. I severely think that this car would not have disc brakes all around. Wow, that really did not last very long. Wow, the uh, wheels on this are not the best, apparently. Well, let's load the next covert, because it's a covert special, apparently. And we're back with the Bishu Covert 1.5 ZXI Special Edition. Let's go. Let's go further than the last one. <clears throat> that was my mistake, I'm sorry. It turned in a lot better than I thought it would. It's tracking fairly straight still, which is good. Oh, that's bad. I can't tell if we're only moving because we're going downhill or what. these covers are going quick my god well only two sorry four minutes in two cars down this is the street tuned covert let's see if it's any better yes turbos I made sure I went into that nice and straight. Am 
Wow, nitrous puddle that just says lol on it. That's quite funny. right from bumper get off my car mm -hmm. I really want this car to be the first comet to at least make a lap. Because I mean, I picked out four of these covets to uh, have some fun with. I mean, we're six minutes in. <laughs> I wish I had manual gear shifts. This could be where it ends, because I don't think we can go left enough. Well, they did one lap in a glorious 248.335. It is by no means the slowest. That's good when the next one I've got is really a bit mad. Let's see what happens. Well, this is the one that I said looked different. This is an Abishu Covet skid plate edition. So the rear wheels have had skid plate welded onto them. 
and this is designed for the closest you can get to drifting without a rear wheel drive swap. Let's go! Hell yes! Oh god, that's bad. We have rotated the skid plate and... Oh. The skid plate is now not where it should be. We are one wheel peeling for days. if we get it too hot. It's always that side that seems to want to run wheel peel. speed for the next hill. Wow, I did the second hill okay. Try and keep it away from that lamp post.
Because the thing is, is all this time, the front wheels are completely in grip. Which are the drive wheels, it's just the back wheels. Yeah. Got all the issues. This is really weird. It's not technically saying anything is broken, but... I'm afraid this is another DNF, which is really sad because I thought this might have actually made it, but no. Well, luckily, um, there are a few more that we can do to just see what happens. Well, here is the sort of next of the bonus cars. This is the track tuned version. Similar part of the street tune, but as you can see, it's a monster aero. And it's actually a lot better at slowing down apparently than the other car, so we'll see how this does. Breaking. Something broke. Something broke when I braked. Really? Whoa, like a tire at end or something has gone. I think that's what like I like cars, I'm not I know mechanic by any means. But like, whoa. Like, I'm pretty sure that broke before I hit the corner. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna give this another try. Not like that, not like that. How do I, how do I? A rare second opportunity. Cause I just went on the brakes and the wheel snapped. Ready? Worked this time, okay. So just a one off glitch, okay, I'll accept that. A rare second opportunity for first glitches. And to be honest, if you wanted more runs that lasted longer than loading screen. Never mind the small amount of reverse that happened then. is a time to beat, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. 
Need to find three seconds. Into the twisty final bit to finish. Also, if he's a lucky broke, hope not seriously. Tracking has been locked, knocked out slightly. Oh god, oh god, whoa. Come on. 155, this is the new fastest car! I'm pretty sure the fastest lap is 158, and this has smashed it. Braking! Yeah, this car really does not like, uh, oh god, some of the bumps on our circuit. Wheels, very much the weakest part of this car. Something broke across there. Pushing this car as hard as I can. It just developed now a very strange way of turning. It sort of goes onto three wheels and lets you put a lot more power through it. Something is smoking, I have no idea what it is because it's in the engine. So it just broke. The front wheels are just the bane of the existence of this car. But at least it did it. This is an Ibishu Covert uh, Trek M. The time is one. 55 I can confirm by over two and a half seconds that this is the fastest that we have had so far let's let's continue I want to do one more I want to do one more I'm going to do one more bear with me and here we are our last car of the day now this is 
the gravel tune version, so it has the same engine and everything as the track version. I'm just seeing, I'm just wondering if this can cope with the bumps a little more. track version but can we do things like that and get away with it yes we can he says before he fucking annihilates it in a wall that's just upset me I genuinely want to see it's not going to go on the board but I just want to see how well this can do for my sake. So it's already a DNF, but I just want to see how fast we can get this around the track, considering it does not care about bumps, although that was technically caused by a bump, but never mind. even worse. So it can handle the bumps in the form of it not breaking but it can't handle the bumps in the form of it just becomes incredibly unstable and up here where there's a jump very soon afterwards and a lot of stuff for it to hit for example those bicycle railings um, it's bad news all around for the Covert Rally Edition. Um, and the thing is, is it'd probably be slower that's a weird, a weird graphical issue. It'd probably be slower than the track one if I just drove it like I did the track one. So, mm, well, it DNF'd anyway the first time, and it fully enough it DNF'd again. But at least in this video, we have had a new fastest lap from another Ibishu. The other one was the 200 BX track edition. But I mean, the track edition seem to be doing the best here. Maybe we should try some more track editions, possibly. But yes, thank you for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.